what just happened? I missed to show you how my actors were located in relation to one another is what happened. And then your brain made some assumptions. Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting filmmaking 101 tutorial where I will show you some important filmmaking techniques and tips and tricks without boring you for a full 30 minutes. Today I want to talk about space. No, not the black hole encompassing astronomical space that can suck the air right out of you but the space within your film where all of your action takes place. I will cover why it can be so confusing for your viewers if you don't properly reveal your space to your audience as well as when, why and how to use establishing shots. One of the most common mistakes I see in film projects is not properly showing the space where your action is taking place to your viewers. There is often an assumption that somehow the viewer will just know cause it's all so obvious. But your audience is not you. They don't have knowledge of where you shot your film and no, they do not know the layout of your house. They do not know that that old gum tree in your backyard is right next to a park. And no, they do not know that the park where little Timmy found all of them strange bones borders on an old Mayan cemetery. Unless you show them, one of the most powerful tools to reveal the space within your film to your viewers are establishing shots. Establishing shots are usually extremely long, also known as very very zoomed out shots, used at the beginning of a new scene to introduce the viewer to important information such as the location, the time of day and where all of the key elements and characters are positioned in relation to each other. It establishes the context for the scene, hence the name. You can find establishing shots in almost all popular TV shows and movies. Typical establishing shots may show iconic landmarks to tell you which city or which part of the world the story is taking place. They may show you a sunset or a sunrise to tell you whether the day is ending or has just begun. Or they may reveal that your favorite character is about to be ambushed by a group of gangsters to build some tension. So why not start every scene in every movie ever with an establishing shot? For one, you may want to jump straight into the action and reveal the location and the spatial relationship between everything as stuff happens just to move your action along more quickly. Or you may want to deliberately hide information from your viewers for the purpose of telling a compelling story or delivering a clever surprise. Just imagine what would happen if the first shot of the latest horror movie showed you exactly where the murderer was hiding in the house. Boring, next. Or remember the ending of From Dusk Till Dawn? Yup. Establishing shots are very powerful and work great at giving you viewer context of the scene they are about to watch. But only use them when it makes sense. If however you decide to skip your establishing shot, Make sure that you do reveal the space to your viewer as necessary so the story unfolds seamlessly and your audience is not left wondering how the hell all of those zombies managed to get around the fence after all. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions just leave them down in the section below. Thank you very much again Jimmy from Jimmy America Photo. That's what I do. Go check out this channel if you're into camera tutorials and good mood. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you did enjoy this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. And if you do want to see more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials, don't forget to go to youtube.com slash studio and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later. <laughs> it's my channel now! <laughs>